It is important to note that uh, based on uh, the economy that we've had in Florida, and particularly in Jacksonville, that we've gone through a very difficult period of time, and that we blacked out so many games last year that uh, unfortunately we've been painted with a broad brush in the national media, a team that can't support the National Football League. Well, that's not the history of this community. We have supported. We have one of the great winning records in the National Football League, and uh, we have had great fan support, great uh, support from the business community. So I think this is a clear demonstration that this community is stepping up. We do have great momentum. We've sold more tickets, and I believe I'm saying this correctly, than any other team in the NFL this year. So I, I think the New York article that I referred to, uh, this dispels that kind of national image about our city. If you would address your question just so we can give the microphone back and forth to whoever it's intended, that would be helpful. Brian, Wayne, and Rob, can, can you both tell us what changed in the last three years? The stadium's been without a uh, sponsor for three years. Everbank's been here. The Jaguars have been here, yet it took until 2010 to make this deal. Well, I think it's the evolution of, uh, of uh, probably uh, where Everbank is today versus where they were three years ago. Uh, clearly, uh, we've talked to a number of partners and we've had some opportunities and people that came in and made some low offers, but some people that we didn't feel the names were appropriate uh, for our stadium, that we wanted to make sure that we put an iconic brand along beside our brand on this stadium, and we found that in Everbank. Well, Can you answer that, Rob? I'll just add to that. You know, our company has evolved significantly over the last couple of years, and we see this as a, a very exciting and uh, very attractive way to allow us to build a strong national brand name. It's, it's, uh, we're at that point in our evolution where we are committed to uh, a, a broad multimedia you know, marketing uh, strategy, and we see this as a real critical component uh, of that strategy. And as I mentioned before, you know, it is a unique opportunity for us because we do have a strong local presence, but over the years we've developed a very significant nationwide uh, business profile. So we've, we view this as a, it's just really a perfect fit for what we're trying to accomplish. Rob, will you, will Everbank be involved in ticket sales in any way? Well, we certainly uh, have a program at, at Everbank that we promote for our, uh, for our employees that's been very popular and we'll, we'll continue to uh, to offer that up a, um, a program, but you know, beyond that, absolutely, we're all trying to do our part to uh, you know promote the team and encourage people to uh, step up in, in the community. And you know, I've participated, you know, with a group of you know other local business people to uh, you know to, as part of that effort. Rob is being a little bit modest. He was uh, very involved with Team Teal and uh, chairman of the corporate uh, uh, initiative in Team Teal. So. Rob has been at the forefront of uh, helping us make sure that, uh, and I might go back and mention that uh, Team Teal, uh, there's a number of Team Teal members in, in the room today, and we can't tell you how much we appreciate it, the gratitude we have for your leadership in the community and being the forefront of uh, helping us achieve the uh, success we have in our ticket sales up to date. Is, is, Wayne, is, is this a game changer? I, I clearly think it's a game changer. I think it uh, is, without being redundant, I think it shows tremendous confidence in the uh, Jacksonville community and uh, the Jaguars and the NFL in our community.